Alright, so this is a very easy tutorial and it's just gonna be on how to create a first person shooter or not a shooter but actually actually create a first person view and for that the only thing we want to use are the standard assets and just some random weapon from the asset store. So we start off in just a scene it doesn't really matter which scene this is in just choose any and the first step we want to go to assets and then right click and click on import package and go to characters once you imported that you will see the uh, standard assets folder right here over here and go to characters and there go to first person character go to prefabs and choose the FPS controller and just drag it in here and with this alone you already have a first person view which you can walk around in and jump and you have some sounds playing and now we want to add a weapon to this so what we're going to do is going to go to the asset store and just download any weapon. I chose this one. So uh, once I imported that, um, by the way, importing, you cl just click here and then import it. And here, what you're going to do is you go for the package that you imported. Then you look for the prefabs folder. And here you have the different prefabs. You can see them here in the preview window. And then choose which one you like and then drag it into the into your scene now we want this to appear in front of the fps controller and here those lines you can see what the player can see so what you do is you move it right into the viewpoint so when you think it's almost in there just go to game and here you can see the view so you might have to adjust it a little bit yeah, it seems almost okay. So, yeah, that seems fine for now. So this pretty much looks like we're done, but if we will would hit play right now, the weapon would just stay in place. So we wanted to move with our view. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the gun and drag it onto the first person character. Uh, please note that you drag it onto the first person character, not the FPS controller. And if you are to hit play now, you can see that the weapon is actually moving along with your view. And yeah, that's basically it for today. Um, in further tutorials, I will explain how to add a crosshair and how to actually make the gun shoot. And all this good stuff. So stay tuned for more. And if you like this video, please subscribe and leave a like and if you have any questions please ask below thank you